difficult to understand, there are two programs for the B4Bs. The Health Protection Fund, one is a Health Protection <coughs> Fund run by Ministry of Finance in collaboration with insurance company for B40 group who had critical illness and they will be eligible for 8,000 ringgit payment and also hospitalization benefit 50 ringgit per day for two weeks maximum. So that's under Ministry of Education, uh, Ministry of Finance program. Uh, so under Ministry of Health, there's a Taker B40 program. So there are two separate programs. The Taker B40 is mainly for B40 group still, above 50 years old. And the Ministry of Health provides fund for medical examination either in our clinic Kesehatan if there is no GP around or uh, by GP uh, medical examination including uh, of course the usual physical examination, blood pressure also blood tests and urine tests for uh, kidney, for diabetes, for cholesterol and also that's one component, there are four components in this uh, PECA B40 okay. it, medical examination is the first component Second component is incentive to complete cancer treatment. If these patients complete cancer treatment as prescribed in government facilities, there will be an incentive of 1,000 ringgit per month. This is to encourage them to complete the treatment because we know that lots of this group, they don't, they don't complete the treatment. Sometimes they are diagnosed cancer, they just give up. So we don't want them to give up, so we incentivize. Okay, on top of that, so we also... This cancer treatment is uh, from the scheme, from the plan, not from the fund. The, in, that means if this patient has got cancer, they under the Ministry of Health, when they complete the treatment, they get 1,000 ringgit. Mm -hmm. When they are diagnosed cancer, under the Ministry of Finance, they can claim 8,000 ringgit. The critical illness. So they get claimed both both sides. Yes. But uh, Dr. Lee, the concern is uh, the, the civil society saying that they were not uh, consulted on this. They were not consulted on this uh, fund plan, on the health protection fund. And the health ministry also uh, were not consulted earlier. And there is great concern because this this uh, funding will impact the overall healthcare financing system in the country. And also the the thing is, it's risk-rated rather than community-rated. So these are some of the concerns expressed by civil society. Uh, first of all, it is not risk-rated because it's community-rated because it doesn't select who is eligible, who is not eligible. As long as you are B40, based on the income B40, you are automatically eligible. So it's not so-called risk-rated. Uh, number two, it doesn't impact on the national finances because this is funded by the uh, insurance company. Of course, uh, I I wouldn't answer why why they fund the money, right? You know, <laughs> that's a specific reason why they have to provide two billion ringgit for the program. Okay, but it doesn't come from the from the budgetary allocation. So uh, it actually doesn't impact on the future plan if you want to roll out the social health insurance if we ever want to because this is a separate program altogether. So uh, of course I cannot uh, talk about this consultation process. Uh, you know. they, they, there are discussions going on with those interested parties behind the doors. So I'm sure the due consultation has been done before it was rolled out. So the Ministry of Health, four components, let me finish it. One is a medical examination, number two is incentive for cancer treatment, number three is transportation allowance for treatment. You know, for Simanjong is 500 ringgit, for, for West East Malaysia is 1000 ringgit, it, uh, transportation for treatment. Plan. No, no, no. This is a Pekka B4. Pekka B4. Health protection plan, not the fund. This is under the health ministry. Health ministry. Pekka B40. We call it Pekka P-E-K-A B40. And number four is uh, assistance for 
prosthesis and implants. This including intraocular lens, uh, prosthesis, uh, artificial uh, joints, prosthesis, uh, joint prosthesis, plates, plates and nails. Uh. These are orthopedics. Uh, so uh, these are four components. I repeat, uh, PKB 40 under Kementerian Kesehatan. Number one, medical examination. Number two, incentive for cancer treatment. Number three, uh, pembantuan uh, pengangkutan. Number four is pembantuan alat. Alat. Where's Ministry of Finance? Two things. Critical illness. The moment you got critical illness, you got eight thousand ringgit. Number two is uh, if you are admitted, fifty ringgit per day for two weeks. Because uh, the process of registry, registration and enro enrollment, so it should be coordinated. Otherwise, there will be you know two different systems running at the same time. But there's a slight difference because uh, Ministry of Finance cater for all B40. Our system only cater for those above 50. We are in in assumption that you know the younger population has got less. NCDs. So we want to cater for the older population. Above B40, uh, sorry, above 50 and B40. Uh, uh, B40 and above 50 years old. For B40. Doctor, ini yang uh, pesakit yang memang dah ada sakit ke atau yang baru? Uh, baru ini nanti pesan. tunggu Kementerian Kewangan yang <coughs> dapat uh, umumkan. Uh. Sama ada uh, critical illness itu mm -hmm. Yang saya tahu kalau ada pre-existing tu tak layak Tapi tapi kalau ada penyakit kritikal yang baru tu layaklah semasa sepanjang program ini berjalan Tapi kita perlu tunggu uh, pengumuman ini I think the detail will probably come out somewhere in end of February or early March